Pluto is a distant and perplexing planet, which was once a member of our close-by planetary family. However, recent shocking announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggest that this chilly world is on a potential intense collision course with Neptune. Yet, how could this happen, and what might be the consequences of such an enormous event? Are we seeing a remarkable yet bizarre occurrence, or is there something else behind this impending massive accident? Join us as we examine the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet downgraded to a dwarf planet mainly due to its eccentric orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the cosmic community. Recent estimates by leading analysts reveal that Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both sounding the alarm about a potential collision between these two planets, which could pose a colossal risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planetary group. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit, and since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. Pluto's orbit is marked by a highly elliptical shape, deviating significantly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Adding to this, its orbit is inclined at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making it far steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and elliptical shape add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its convergence with Neptune's path. For approximately 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, which defies what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This prompts a natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The investigation of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, cosmologists tried to understand its unusual path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, despite these peculiarities, is a testament to the complexities of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space deals with determining how three objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other through their gravity. It's like trying to predict their positions based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto, this problem reveals the interactions between its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity. Key terms, such as Amal libration and degree libration along with the VZK oscillation are fundamental to this riddle. Astrophysicists explain that Amal libration means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned roughly 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation prevents their orbits from converging. Degree libration refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or other giant planets, it is positioned well above their orbital planes, providing an extra layer of protection. Another crucial aspect is the VZK oscillation named after researchers who studied how three celestial bodies like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun interact gravitationally. This oscillation helps keep Pluto's orbit relatively smooth and controlled. Despite Pluto's orbit appearing chaotic, the VZK oscillation aids in maintaining it over long timescales, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or stray off course. These variables help keep Pluto's orbit stable, and understanding them sheds light on Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds. Numerical simulations from the late 1980s showed that, despite these stabilizing factors, Pluto's orbit is chaotic, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millennia. Later virtual simulations also demonstrated how Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn's gravitational influences impact Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship stabilizes Pluto's orbit, but Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in maintaining Pluto's path, even for billions of years. These interactions maintain order and prevent bodies like Pluto from colliding with others. Despite Pluto's orbit sometimes seeming turbulent, these gravitational forces help sustain it, even for billions of years. It demonstrates the broader order and consistency of celestial bodies' movements. Astrophysicists such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku emphasize the importance of studying these phenomena. Tyson, who famously advocated for reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet, sees this shift as a sign of our growing understanding of the numerous bodies orbiting our Sun. His approach emphasizes the continuous learning process in astronomy, underscoring that our knowledge of the universe remains limited despite advances. 
Michio Kaku adds a futuristic perspective, stressing that understanding celestial mechanics has practical implications, especially in monitoring potential collisions like the one between Pluto and Neptune. His work highlights the importance of preparedness in space exploration, emphasizing that the better we understand these forces, the better equipped we are to handle potential astronomical events. Both Tyson and Kaku agree that space remains a realm of infinite discovery, requiring continuous observation, advanced modeling, and adaptability. They urge ongoing investigation to refine our understanding of celestial mechanics. The potential Pluto-Neptune collision, albeit unlikely with our current knowledge, reminds us of the dynamic nature of the universe and underscores the importance of continuous observation and technological advancement in space science. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's reclassification and Kaku's focus on the unpredictable nature of celestial mechanics both underscore the essential need for flexible, ongoing scientific exploration. The potential Pluto-Neptune collision scenario is more than just a theoretical event, it serves as a case study highlighting the complexities, interactions, and challenges that celestial bodies present in our solar system. While a direct impact between Pluto and Neptune remains hypothetical and unlikely, monitoring these orbits continues to be crucial for deepening our understanding of cosmic interactions. Astrophysicists use simulations and advanced technologies to refine orbital predictions, revealing that even the smallest variations in initial conditions, such as Pluto's position or speed, can lead to drastically different outcomes over millennia. These simulations demonstrate how intricate and delicate the dance of celestial bodies truly is. The three-body problem, where the gravitational pull between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun affects their orbits, illustrates the challenge scientists face in making accurate, long-term predictions. It also emphasizes the importance of precise measurements in the initial conditions to reduce uncertainties. Each orbit brings a different arrangement of gravitational forces, reminding researchers that our solar system is not a static place but an evolving, dynamic system filled with complexity. The case of Pluto's orbit highlights the need for constant investigation, as new insights can change our understanding of orbital stability. The mean motion resonance between Pluto and Neptune, where Neptune completes three orbits for every two Pluto makes, has kept Pluto's path relatively stable. However, scientists recognize that these stabilizing factors exist within the broader, chaotic backdrop of orbital dynamics. Gravitational influences from other planets, like Jupiter and Saturn, play an active role in maintaining balance in Pluto's orbit, showcasing how interconnected our solar system is. Beyond scientific discovery, the study of Pluto and Neptune's interactions poses practical implications. Tyson and Kaku both advocate for continuous observation, stressing that understanding celestial bodies' behaviors is crucial for foreseeing any shifts that might one day affect other planets, including Earth. Tyson emphasizes that reclassifying Pluto was a step forward in embracing the evolving nature of astronomy, allowing scientists to classify and study planetary bodies more accurately. Meanwhile, Kaku focuses on the cosmic unpredictability that demands a readiness to adapt as our knowledge advances. The collision scenario, despite its improbability, serves as a reminder that space science is not just about observing the past but predicting the future. It encourages researchers to refine simulation models, develop advanced telescopes, and apply newer methods to navigate the vast unknowns of our solar system. In understanding the gravitational forces that govern these orbits, astronomers are better equipped to predict and mitigate possible future celestial events. Ultimately, the potential for a Pluto-Neptune impact, however hypothetical, pushes us to explore the depths of celestial mechanics. Through simulation, study, and evolving technology, astrophysicists continue to peel back the layers of complexity, helping us not only to comprehend our place within the solar system but also to anticipate the myriad possibilities awaiting in the boundless realm of space.